What is going on guys and girls, it is Ghost Robo and you are looking at my sideburns. Actually, don't focus on my face, focus on the game which is State of Decay, a brand new open world zombie action adventure sim game for Xbox Live Arcade coming early 2013. Now this is a downloadable title but it is pretty darn impressive and pretty darn massive. I had a hands-on demo at PAX this weekend with the developer. Um, you'll notice me driving around with all these crazy zombies chasing everywhere and what def makes this game different than just your typical zombie action game um, is there is a gigantic open world and a huge focus on simulation and survival. You'll notice I can pick lots of different people who each have their own abilities and traits and we're going to see how long can we survive. Now you manage this entire stable of characters on your own and you can switch between controls so I could be this guy, I could be a different girl based on what I need. I also sort of like Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, can send them out on their own missions and be like, hey, Charlie, go buy me some food. Or, hey, Nikki, go find us a new house or whatever I need them to do. Of course, there's dangers involved in that as well. They can die on their way. They can run into big problems. You might have to go save them or let them perish if it's too dangerous. Um, it also has a very cool, almost RTS-style building. You'll see it pop up here where I can go to these empty areas. And the examples they gave were like a machine shop where I could build new tools or some farming things for food that will increase stamina and health. And um, you can see I have this base where I can basically spend my money and resources that I have to collect on different shops, on different buildings, on different things that will assist me in my survival. It is very open world, it is very create your own adventure, but there are set missions and they were very sure to point out that there will be an end game. There are def definitely different ways to reach that end game, but there definitely will be a final mission that sort of wraps up the storyline. Um, you can see there's a morale meter in the top left corner. Visually it looks really good, it's pretty darn impressive for a downloadable game, uh, and it seems like Microsoft and Sony are both extra extra pushing their downloadable services, probably in preparation for a much bigger focus on them next generation. Um, the combat is pretty good. It reminds me a lot of Dead Island in, in third person. Um, so you have melee combat as well as gun combat. You'll see both um, in the near future here. The car controls are a little iffy, but again, this is still an alpha. This isn't even a demo um, or a beta. They're shooting for an early 2013 release, so I give them a little bit of a... Uh, I'm not as picky on the controls. I mainly was looking at concept and overall just ideas and, and what they were bringing to the table. And I think what they're bringing is something that is, is very new. You know, this whole mechanic of surviving and, and creating a base, building up your team, picking who should do what, where you need them to go, what is the most important thing to focus on in order to be able to survive, to last as long as you can in this wasteland. Um, it's a decently nice wasteland. It hasn't all gone to complete shambles yet. All these houses are completely there. You can walk into all of them. They'll have zombies walking around. They might have different places that I think you can add to your base or create a new base. Um, there's lakes and roads and houses and mansions and all sorts of different things. The map was pretty extensive. And again, this is just an alpha demo. Um, they didn't have a whole lot of characters available, um, but what I did see was this dude here who was a very action-heavy, combat-focused guy um, and a girl who seemed more uh, gathering resource focus. I'm not, not sure exactly. They, you know, they weren't going into 100% specifics, but you can see there is a heavy attack, a light attack, and then a finisher attack. Uh, quite a wide variety of zombies. Um, another, I saw another person face off against this giant zombie that jumped on top of their car, and they had to smash him into a billboard or into a wall to get him off, which is pretty darn cool. Um, you can tell that they really want people to have a lot of fun, you know, making their own way. And like, hey, remember when I went over to this building and got, uh, you know, assaulted by this huge horde of zombies and then had to switch characters to come save myself. And, like, it's a really great game for not choose your own adventure so much, but basically creating your own stories. You can tell that, like, Highlight Reel was a focus they wanted to to very much have it be a part of their game. Your own personal Highlight Reel. And I think it works out pretty darn well. There is a stamina meter. There is a health meter. Um, so they're definitely taking aspects from Dead Island, from GTA, um, from, of course, your your zombie games that are a plenty. I really, really, really love the face smash into the ground. That's really quite the lovely, awesome finisher. Um, and a lot of optional stuff as well. They, you know, they said either you can see all these different trackers popping up, but a lot of optional things with you know, different missions, or you could do this, or you could do that. You could um, create a distraction before you go to a specific mission. You could not. You can go head in. Um, and right now, the developers show me the map that is pretty darn big and supposedly going to get even bigger for the game, which is uh, really, really pretty impressive for it. Downloadable, you know, that means it's probably going to be 10 to 20 bucks, and I think it's freaking fantastic. I know I'm super excited to play. Um, it was relatively unknown. I think it was kind of under the radar. And they had a couple demo stations. I was like, that looks really, really cool. Uh, they had people dressed up in, like, scientist suits. I was like, okay, we got to go check this out. And uh, it turned out to be really, really pretty darn awesome. State of Decay 
for Xbox Live Arcade. They said they might bring it to PC afterwards, but right now their focus is definitely a early 2013 release for Xbox Live Arcade. I've taken a lot of damage. I'm going to go inside this house and take a rest and leave you guys right now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this look at State of Decay, and we'll see you all later.